figure, I refer you to the budget statement. The speaker, page 168 and page 169. Appendices 2B and Appendix 2C. The speaker, you will notice on Appendix 2B that we have budget for 2017, 2017 revised budget, and 2017 projected outlook. 2017 program, Q1 to Q3, and we have 2017 provisional, Q1 to Q3. Again, if you are to come to page 169, same budget statement. You have here 2017 budget, 2017 revised budget, 2017 project, uh, projected outlook, and you have the projected Q1 to Q3 and the provisional Q1 to Q3. The speaker, my emphasis here relates to the revised budget of 2017 and revised uh, expenditure and revised budget relating to 2017 with regards to revenue. The speaker clearly, what the Ministry of Finance has done here is they've revised the expenditure allocations without recourse to parliament. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, they have revised the revenue targets without recourse to parliament. Mr. Speaker, if I may refer you to the PFM law, section 28. Mr. Speaker, with your permission, I read. The minister shall not later than the 31st of July of each financial year prepare and submit to parliament a media fiscal policy review. Two, the media fiscal policy review shall include the following information. The speaker are more interested in the D. The D says that a presentation of a revised budget outlook for the year, for the on expired term of the financial year and the implication of the revised budget outlook for the medium term fiscal and expenditure framework, if necessary. The speaker, Based on this, the speaker, how can you revise a budget without the, the authority of parliament? So, speaker, in my opinion, this budget must be rejected and be redrawn immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So speaker, this budget must be rejected and redrawn immediately. So speaker, the minister responsible for finance, the minister responsible for finance cannot revise expenditures and, and, and revenue without parliamentary resolution, Mr. Speaker.